Hello and welcome to this week's Educational Vlog. I'm Jason Hatley, the Financial Planning Manager here at Five Plan Partners. And today's vlog will mark the third and final installment of our series on the SECURE Act 2.0. In the first installment of the series, we covered provisions of the SECURE Act 2.0 that became effective in year 2023. In the second installment, we covered those that became that will become effective in 2024. And in this final installment, we will discuss a few uh, provisions that will become effective in years uh, following 2024. Uh, but before we get into that, I need to go back and make one correction to the previous episode um, for one of the provisions that was supposed to become effective in 2024. And that's the provision that called for catch-up contributions to be made on a rock basis beginning in 2024. Towards the end of August, uh, the IRS came out with some guidance that allowed for a two-year extension on that requirement and basically pushed the uh, the requirement for catch-up contributions to be made on a Roth basis to begin in 2026 rather than 24. So in other words, uh, catch-up contributions for those who are uh, age 50 or older can continue to be made on a tax deferred basis through year 2025. Speaking of catch up contributions, the first provision that we'll cover that becomes effective in 2025 actually increases the catch up limits for calendar years in which an individual reaches the ages of 60, 61, 62, or 63. In calendar years that individuals reach those ages, the catch-up contributions will be increased to the greater of 10,000 or 150% of the regular catch-up limit for that year for all plans uh, other than simple plans. And for simple plans, the uh, catch-up contribution limit will be increased to the greater of 5,000 or 150% of the uh, normal simple catch-up limit for that year. The next item that we'll cover that becomes effective in 2025 is the requirement for all newly adopted 401k and 403b plans to automatically enroll participants upon them reaching the eligibility requirements. All pre-existing plans uh, up to the end of 2024 will be exempted from this auto enrollment requirement. Again, this only affects newly adopted plans beginning in calendar year 2025. So for these plans that, that uh, become effective in 2025, the initial enrollment, initial auto enrollment uh, deferral rate must be at least 3% of earnings, but not more than 10%. And the deferral uh, percentages must be increased each year by 1% until it reaches uh, at least 10%, but not more than 15%. Employees will be able to opt out of both the initial enrollment and the automatic annual increases. Beginning in 2026, there will be a new uh, exemption to the 10% uh, early withdrawal penalty for withdrawals to pay premiums on certified long-term care contracts. Withdrawals for this purpose will be limited to $2,500 per year uh, and that amount will be indexed for inflation. In order for this withdrawal to qualify for the exemption, a premium statement issued by the insurance carrier must be filed with the withdrawal request, certifying that the coverage is qualified for the exemption. The final provision that we'll cover for the SECURE Act 2.0 becomes effective in 2027 and calls for a savers match for low-income taxpayers. Savers match will replace the existing retirement savers tax credit. The current credit that will be replaced is a non-refundable tax credit for low and middle income taxpayers who contribute to an IRA or a employer-sponsored retirement plan. The new savers match will be a refundable tax credit that will be paid in the form of a contribution from the federal government to an IRA or to a retirement savings plan. The match amount will still be 50% up to $2,000 uh, of contributions 
but the income limits to qualify for this match will be significantly reduced. It will be available to single filers with modified adjusted gross income up to $20,500 and to joint filers up to $41,000. And it will be fully phased out for single filers at $35,500 and uh, joint filers at $71,000. So that wraps up the items that we wanted to communicate to you, our clients and followers, uh, coming out of the SECURE Act 2.0. If you have questions or concerns about how any of these provisions will affect you, uh, please give us a call or send us an email. We'll be happy to help you understand how these changes will affect you and how best to plan for them. Have a great week, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.